Internal parasites, or worms, can be a significant cause of livestock production loss. Animals swallow the infective larvae of the parasites while grazing pasture. The ingested larvae then mature in the digestive tract of the animal, mate and lay eggs, which are passed out onto the pasture in the faeces. This is how the life cycle completes, with the eggs hatching into infective larvae and swimming up onto the leaves of the grass to be swallowed by more animals. One of the main tools farmers use to control these parasites are anthelmintics, or drench. Drench is used to kill parasites in the digestive tract of the animals. There are many different drenches on the market with different active ingredients. Drench resistance is present when parasites that previously would have been killed survive a correctly applied dose of drench. These are called resistant parasites and they pass their resistant genes onto their offspring, creating large populations of resistant parasites. As drench resistance is widespread, a faecal egg count reduction test is needed to help choose which drench will be effective on your farm. One of the most common causes of drench resistance is drenching too often. The more often animals are treated with drench, the more often resistant parasites are selected for. It is important to reduce the amount of unnecessary drenching of animals. You could be wasting money and causing the development of drench resistance. Maintaining refugia is one of the most important management strategies for maintaining susceptible populations of parasites on pasture and to reduce drench resistance. Refugia is the practice of leaving some parasites free from drench to increase the number of susceptible parasites on your pasture, which will continue to pass on susceptible genes to future generations of parasites. This leads to less risk or reversion of drench resistance. There are many ways refugia can be introduced onto a farming system. For example, not drenching your adult ewes. Mature ewes have developed a level of natural immunity to parasites, therefore do not benefit from drenching like younger stock. Another example of refugia is using integrated grazing between stock classes. For example, rotate undrenched ewes behind lambs to dilute the population of resistant parasites left behind by the lambs. Resistant parasites can also be brought in with stock arriving at your farm. Management for this should be included in your farm biosecurity plan. Ideally, you should know before you buy. This means knowing the resistance status of the parasites on the farm you're buying from by asking for their recent faecal egg count reduction test. To ensure stock do not bring resistant parasites with them, quarantine drenching should be carried out. The actives used for quarantine drenching are not what you would use for routine drenching. To quarantine drench effectively, the new actives Monipantil or Durquantil in combination with other drench families, for example a macrocyclic lactone, should be used. It is important you are using the most effective drench for the parasites. Even though these quarantine drench products may kill the parasites in the digestive tracts of the animals, these parasites will already have laid eggs, which will be working their way out of the animals in the feces. It's a good idea to turn them out onto a paddock thought to have susceptible parasites to dilute these resistant parasites coming from your new stock. For example, a paddock recently grazed by undrenched mature ewes. When you do drench, effective drenching techniques are critical to ensure that drenchers have the best chance of killing parasites present in the animals, and so you're not increasing the chance of introducing drench resistance. The steps to ensure effective drenching are 
Select the right drench to use based on faecal egg count reduction test results. Ensure that the product is within its use by date. Record the expiry date, batch number and withholding period. Note any other special precautions or instructions. Note the dose rate and administration method and make sure you have the correct equipment for the job. Follow the instructions on the label to ensure it's properly mixed in the drum. Don't guess the weight of your animals. Weigh a sample of animals and treat all animals in the group based on the heaviest weight. If there is a wide variation, draft the group into light and heavy animals and dose to the weight of the heaviest in each group. Calibrate your drenching equipment using a measuring cup or a syringe. Ensure that your drenching gun is delivering the appropriate amount of product and the nozzle has no rough edges. If using oral drench, ensure that each animal completely swallows the drench by applying the product over the back of the tongue. Test the efficacy of your drench product and drenching protocol by carrying out a faecal egg count test or a drench check 10 days after drenching. Do this at least once a year. Test the full effectiveness of your drench product at least every three years to ensure it is killing at least 95% of the parasites present by doing a faecal egg count reduction test. This involves comparing a pre-treatment faecal egg count with a post-treatment faecal egg count. This test will tell you what drenches are working for what parasites on your farm. For more information, contact your vet, Wormwise or the Beef and Lamb New Zealand Knowledge Hub.